me say hey. chickpeas. 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 And not chickpeas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have got Heather Lawless and Jen Queen here. You are the queens of the garbanzo bean, That's also right. known as the chickpea. <laughs> We're starting a revolution. Why is it so good, not only for our health, but for the planet? So chickpeas are really trending right now in the culinary world. They're wildly versatile, they're delicious. Chickpeas uh, don't contribute to greenhouse gases the same way that meat, dairy, and eggs yes. do. They're really healthy, they're health promoting. People are interested in making good choices for their body and making good choices for the environment. And so chickpeas are, are perfect for that. And it all starts right here. This is the actual chickpea in its little pod. Now, yeah. this is the season. I often have the uh, fava beans and the sweet peas just out of the shell like that. Yeah. So this is chickpeas it. Are delicious like this as well and they come in so many different forms so we have the flour known as chana or basin flour the dried the canned black chickpeas we've tickled uh, pickled chickpeas and pasta That's the fresh good. ones are delicious good want to try one go for a ride all right it's like <laughs> it sugar peas or snap peas right? oh my gosh, they're just delicious. like peas yeah just like regular now peas. would you we're think... so used to seeing them in the dried form yes mm -hmm. yes would you ever think of dessert with the chickpeas raj no, not Today even we're close. Doing it. I we're won't doing lie. It. Well, here I we go. Lie, but so now I will. One of the things that makes chickpeas so wildly versatile is the fact that you can use the liquid that they're stored in or cooked in. This is called aquafaba or bean water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if you whip it, it'll turn into this. So we oh, added a little bit of <laughs> cream no tartar. Don't do that. Pretend. <laughs> it did, it wow, did do did. it. <laughs> and uh, some sugar, and you create this lovely whip. So we've cooked these guys for a couple of hours. Yeah. And then to create this New Zealand pavlova, all you got to do if you want to help me yes. is. is Put on some of the whip, and you can oh, put it right I see. on this here. On top. Yeah, dollop it on. Oh, so good. Nice. And oh then my gosh, guys! Isn't that and you will never miss the other ingredients. The and you white. get protein, yep. right? Yeah. Now, what is that that you made? That looks. Um, these are our peanut butter chocolate chunk cookies. These guys are made with chickpea flour, okay. and uh, they're super high in protein because there's chickpea flour, almond flour, and peanut butter and chocolate. And me. There's no, no better combination than peanut butter and chocolate. I'll say this though as a warning. My husband and I have tried the pasta, the chickpea pasta. It does uh, give you some power, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Gas power. How does one avoid that? Here's well, you, I'd say if you're cooking your own beans, soaking them really well is a great way to start. Also, your body will start to adapt to uh, to more beans. The so more you give, eat, give it time. The less you toot. And with the yeah. flour, is it any concerns with gluten or anything like no. that? The flour is totally gluten-free, exactly. which is one of the so, beautiful things about it. This leads oh, us so to nice. our next demonstration. So this and is chickpea flour okay. with mm -hmm. some garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. That's it. So if you <laughs> dump this almond milk into yeah. it. Oh, the whole thing? Yep, dump it I'm in natural. and mix it up. It creates Perfect. a really cool batter. See, you can whip that up for me. All right. <laughs> Hang on, I got my little ring. That looks so good. So this creates a really nice gluten-free batter that can crisp up any veggies. And what we've done for this next appetizer is created a crispy mushroom cap. And each of these little lettuce leaves have some crispy mushrooms and some Ontario microgreens some peppers, some rice noodles, sesame oil. This sauce is so delicious. It's, so good. it's got it spicy Thai chilies, fresh lime juice. It's amazing. So if you want, you can go ahead and uh, and build this last cup. Go ahead and try and it. What's up You're going to eat the yeah. last cup, aren't you? Pardon me? <laughs> what's up there? The uh, little slider. So go ahead and put all these ingredients and the mushrooms in that last one there. All right. Uh, the sliders are our chickpea sliders. So these are perfect for entertaining at a party or for kids who can't handle a full burger. They're nutritional powerhouses. They have chickpeas, sweet potato, quinoa, uh, ground flax. They're amazing. High protein, high fiber, good omegas. The great thing about these is that you can make a bunch and freeze them and then pop them out whenever you're ready and just bake them in the oven right. for a little while. Double dip. Raj, um, get in. Get and in. everyone's happy. There you go. We're going to convert yeah, you, Raj. You I think I may be converted already. Yep. Thank you. So go Cheers ahead. to good health with chickpeas. It's good for the planet. It's good for you. It's a win-win. Pick it up. The chickpea revolution. Get on board, everybody. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Mm, yes, yeah.